How's it going guys? Me David here for another shape and today a very special day for me because finally after me harassing Douglas for the better part of the last year I finally have and he finally made my favorite scent into a soap. Bam. Sangre de Drago. My favorite aftershave is now a soap and I'll tell you right now Send is spot on. It's of course in the new 3.0 formula, which is absolutely awesome. So I am thrilled. Pretty much plain and simple. So got myself a nice little badass all black shave going on right here. I'm going to go ahead and use the Philharmonica with the, with the original black scales on there. I got my Nathan Clark brush with the dyed walnut handle. And then of course it's going to be finished off with None other than Sangre de Drago, the aftershave. So, awesome, awesome shave to go today. I can't be any happier, man. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. And I've seriously been bugging this dude. But, of course, it was something that he really had to debate whether he was going to do or not. I guess the, uh, the ingredients for this scent. The actual uh, dragon's blood resin, also the, uh, the oud. Um, very expensive ingredients. So this is a, one of those real labor of love things. Not putting a whole lot of money in his pocket, but it's an awesome scent. So I absolutely love it. And thank you, Douglas. I, I appreciate this one. I have been bugging and bugging and bugging for this for a while now. So I'm going to go and load this up nice and good. It's a nice dark color soap. Right now you can't see it too well because of that, but it's a nice like a uh, brownish beige color. Makes sense because the, the aftershave is a funny color as well. It's a brownish, brownish bronze, gold, amber type color. So load that up nice and heavy. Looks great. Okay, got lots of soap. Don't be greedy. Don't have a bad shave because you want to be a fucking cheap ass and save soap. I have still not finished a single soap as of yet, so the more I use, the better. Because I'm seriously starting to run out of space for all this shit. So today is either Lincoln's birthday or President's Day. I'm not really sure, so I didn't have work today since I work out of school. So that was nice. But then it was also kind of screwed up today because I know I knew this was supposed to get delivered today and so I've been kind of been going stir crazy here waiting for the damn mailman and then to top it off typically right here we get our mail at about 4 30. I don't know what happened maybe so many people called me sick today but we did not get our mail until damn near 7 p.m. So first I was thinking, okay, Lincoln's birthday or whatever or whatnot. Maybe the, the mail isn't working. But then when I checked tracking, it said it was out for delivery. So I really didn't know what the hell was going on. And then lo and behold, the mailman got here at like 7, damn near 7 o'clock. So that kind of tripped me out. But hey, he had my stuff, so I'm happy. I love the shit out of this brush. So I'm going to have to just add some more water. Not particularly a thirsty soap, very well balanced soap, not, not particularly thirsty, but it can handle a good amount of water. And I just really, really loaded the shit out of this brush. So I have a whole lot of product. I know, and so what happens if you don't hydrate a lather properly, it'll get a bit sticky, you get a little bit of drag, and not to mention you're just wasting a bunch of soap into the brush. Continuing to add water will get more volume out of the soap here. So all three of your lathers should pretty much look damn near like the first, like your typically your first lather. That's just creamy goodness. Shout out to my boy GI James. Much love to you, bro. 
Congratulations on that big Denver Bronco win. Those of you that don't know Jam and G.I. James, huge Broncos fan. And I got to admit, again, I don't watch a lot of Broncos games, so I'm not too familiar with them. But their D-line was absolutely amazing. And that was the thing that when people would ask me who I thought was going to win, I said, I thought the Panthers were going to win. But my, my little caveat to that was, I'm not sure how good DeMarcus Ware and Vaughn Miller. And that whole general defensive line is. I did, and I was like, if they have the speed to contain him, they can win. And as, as I said, if they have the speed, they could, they'll win. They do. Von Miller is such a ridiculous speed off the edge. And DeMarcus Ware is no slouch his damn self. And even those interior dudes, man, those guys they have up front. Wolf. I can't remember the other guy that I've seen a lot. But they were just flat out dominant. Could not be pushed back on the run. And we're in Cam Newton's face. The whole game. Now, with that being said, though, seeing how long it was taking Cam to make decisions. And I'm not trying to take away from the Denver's D-line, though. But Cam looked like he choked. He looked extremely hesitant to make decisions. And knowing, especially by the third quarter, if you know damn well their pass rush is that good, if your first and second option ain't open, you probably should take off running. He just he looked hesitant to run. The one touchdown they scored was set up by like three good, uh, three first down uh, earning uh, runs by by Cam. He just really didn't see that the rest of the game. So I was a little curious. So he just seemed a little, uh, little gun shy. You know, he did, didn't want to pull the trigger. The first pass is just pretty much what you would expect if PAA soap would be. You know, and the Panthers defense is legit. You know, everybody's singing all these praises for the, uh, the Denver defense. But the Panther defense was damn near just as good. Every bit is good. You know, it ended up being 10 to 24. But the, most of those points came at that dead period. You know, Cam had that, that, that fumble and that he didn't even try to dive on. And that was like the third time, the third turnover in their own side of the field. So the Panthers defense did everything they could. Now, when you, when you give the ball twice inside the freaking like 20, it's, it's hard to keep points off the board. And they were just doing their thing. Well, anytime they had a decent uh, field set up, except for the first drive of the game, which they still only gave up three points, um, th that Panthers defense is absolutely legit. But just uh, Peyton Manning being as smart as he is, and he doesn't have the talent to be an elite quarterback no more, but he knows the game about as good as anybody. So he didn't make any, any of the mistakes that Cam did. He didn't hold the ball too long. Uh, when he was so close to our, our his goal line, and one was that strip sack, which that the right side uh, tackle uh, for the Panther, the right offensive tackle, that dude had no chance against Von Miller, and he made a real vital mistake by leaning in and almost trying to like almost run block uh, Von Miller, and Von Miller used his hands, shed, and just got hit the edge real fast and strip sacked the cabin and caused that. 
caused that on um, what's it called? That fumble and that touchdown. So so Cam made costlier mistakes in real bad spots. Where uh, Peyton Manning was just old faithful, you know, he didn't do nothing special. Really, he didn't have a game. That was one, that was won by the defense. He just didn't lose the game. So unfortunately, I don't think this game really helped Peyton Manning for his legacy because he's just he's been horrible in the Super Bowl. And of course, you get points for making it to the Super Bowl as many times as he has, but he just he hasn't been good. It really is that simple. I'm taking my time with this shave because being my first time shaving with my favorite scent, I'm really gonna just bask in the ambiance. I just, just enjoy it. That's just awesome. Flat out awesome. Like usually, when I don't crazy overload the brush, I won't really wet my face during that second. After the second pass, I just kind of brush it on without introducing any more water. But since I have so much soap in here, I need to continue to introduce water because then it'll get too thick and pasty. And I really like to have that perfect blend of cushion and slickness. Look at that. And this slick, I do notice a slickness difference between this version and the was it 2.5 version. It's like my face, my hands are sliding across my face while I'm trying to while I'm trying to hold the skin. So very very nice. David Munoz has been texting me all day with updates on uh, supposedly when his uh, Sangre de Drago was supposed to arrive. His didn't arrive today. I was so happy when he was telling me that 
he got his barrister and man, but not his sangre de drago. I was getting sad because I was like, shit, my man not coming today then either. Because we live real close to each other. Luckily, my showed up. Sorry, Dave. Don't feel too bad for him. He did get barrister and mad that, uh, don't want the damn heart night music, I think. Very nice, all set. So, hell of a shave. I'm gonna rinse my face off right quick. That's a pain in the ass after I, I shave and I whip my beard all up. Oh my goatee, I should say. It starts to get all curly and weird, so I have to spend the next hour or so retraining it to get back to normal. So it starts like going out, like it all shifts one way. And I think it's because I sleep a particular way and it pushes all the hairs that way. So that kind of sucks. So that was my hot water rinse. My nice cold water rinse. There we go. So again, for those of you guys that don't know, Big Shave West going on April 23rd, free admission. So real nice, get out there. Um, the way the, the way that this one differs from all, most of the other meetup, pretty much all other meetups around the country, is obviously we get to chop it up and get all personal, but this is actually more of a convention style. They have guest speakers, they have demos, they have instructional stuff, and then you have a bunch of vendors. You get to meet a lot of your favorite vendors. Edwin Jagger, Feather was there, Ourselves were there last year, Dave Mendoza from the Shave Shop. We had uh, Salazar and Sons, which they make awesome leather goods, wallets, uh, straight razor cases, DE cases, um, LA Shaving Soap Company, all, of course, PAA. Um, all kinds of good dudes. Damon is awesome, the owner of uh, Old Town Shaving. So just the fact that he hosts that event, just it's really cool of him because it's a lot of work and you know gives us a spot to kick it. So that's just it's just really cool of him. So I appreciate Damon for putting on the event, dealing with all the headaches. So so I'm gonna Drago after shave. My favorite scent. So if you ever had a question on what my favorite. Set and wet shaving is, is this. And now I got the matching soap. So life is good today. Life is real good. So thank you guys for joining me. Go ahead and visit soulsharplimited.com. You can go ahead and contact me on um, Instagram, soulsharpdavid or soul.sharp.limited. Um, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, soulsharpdavid, YouTube, the whole deal. Well, obviously, if you're watching this, you know I'm on YouTube. So hey, guys, thanks a lot. I appreciate you. Catch you guys on the next one.